June 9th and 10th, Sunday and Monday. The sun is in Gemini. The moon is in Virgo. There is a big grand cross in the heavens. Jupiter is in Sag and Neptune's in Pisces. There's four spots. They all make a big cross. There's always a red line in the middle, a red line in the middle. That's called a grand cross in mutable signs. This only happens very rarely. So June 9th and 10th. The grand cross indicates in old astrology, someone would come to me and say, look at my chart, I've got a grand cross, and they would be like shaking in their pants going, something's wrong. Because that's a sign that there's a difficult chart. Why? Because Gemini loves to go fast and dippy and fun and playful and childlike, and Virgo's like, no, you better check all those notes, and you better cross your teeth and dot your eyes, and you're pissing me off because you're moving too fast. And Gemini goes, oh, really? Now you're pissing me off, and I'm going to go get scattered and leave over here. Virgo, you can't leave. You said you were going to do it that day. Gemini, I'm changing my mind. So they get disruptive inside this personality, but it's not just those two. Then we have opposite the Pisces going, I'm really feeling funny. There's too much arguing going on here. I'm feeling like I'm going to be very sick soon because everyone's talking too much. And then Sag goes, oh my God, that's the funniest thing I ever heard. You're all such idiots. You can't figure out what you're doing and I'm just going to go outside and play. Then Gemini goes, can I come? And then Virgo goes, no, you said you're going to do this. And Pisces goes, "Uh uh-oh, I'm telling you, I'm getting confused. So if you have four flavors inside of your chart or your personality that are conflicted, and we call this a mutable grand cross, and anyone with any of those signs in their chart, during these couple of days, Sunday and Monday, you might feel agitated. And by the way, this combination of Gemini Virgo, their nervous system's jacked up anyways because Geminis are super, super childlike. They wiggle, they tickle, they shake their foot all the time, and so does Virgo. People don't tell you that. Virgos are high strung and they need to be careful about their diet and they may need to be careful about their coffee intake and about their sugar. And Gemini goes, oh, just do it. So you can see these couple of days could be high strung. Now here's the good news. Mutable Grand Cross, the sign of a soul who came in to learn lessons about versatility, changing their mind, having multiple ideas, being able to do more things than you could ever imagine at one time, multitasking. So don't judge yourself if you're one of those characters that can do many things at the same time and you're a little bit late and then you change your mind. That's just a sign of a creative. Astrology just wanted me to say to you, when there's a grand cross in the heavens like that and the sun is opposite Jupiter, that is a sign of being born under a lucky star, even with the grand cross, and nothing's wrong. When someone comes to me and says, the astrologer said, I have a grand cross in my life. I'm like, no, in esoteric law, the worse it is, the more difficult your life is, the more opportunity for growth. Now, who knew that? So all of you people who have had really challenging lives, here's the update. It's a good sign, said the astrologer, if you want to evolve. If you want to sleep through the movie, have a really easy chart. That's what I was going to say.